Hello everyone and welcome to day four. I'm so glad that you're here and joining me as we travel through the book of Matthew. Uh, we know that the book of Matthew is the first of the four gospels and what it's going to do is we're going to travel in the last couple. We've, we've seen the birth of Christ and now we're going through the life of Christ right up until Easter Sunday. So I hope that you have your Bible and I hope that you're ready to just hear from the Lord today and to just find something in here that you can tuck away and, and help someone. I'm sitting in a parking lot because I have some errands to run, but I thought, and it's, it's just been a beautiful day, that what better place than to just start right here in the middle of a parking lot and ask God to join us um, and just to be with us. So I want to pray and then we're going to start. Lord God Almighty, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for you know, this day, just just this day period. We trust you with tomorrow and the tomorrow and the tomorrow after that. And we just ask that you be in our reading. God, I ask that whoever listens to this, that you impart something specifically for them. Continue to just guide us as we run through your scriptures here and, and get a clear understanding of how you want us to live our life and to have answers for when people ask us questions. God, we love you and we trust you. And we just can't wait to dig into your scriptures and learn about you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, in chapter 4, this is where Jesus is going to be tested in the wilderness. And um, there's a few other things that happens. Um, he calls his first disciples, which is awesome. Uh, he, heals some, he heals the sick. I know that comes as a shock. He's going to heal some sick. And um, it's not a very long, a long chapter. But... Um, and then I'll just tell you where I'm going to camp. Uh, we're going to talk about how Satan tempts Jesus. And um, when we're done. So here we go. Chapter 4 and verse 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. I'll bet you he was. The tempter came to him and he said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. And Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up with their hands, that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to a test. And again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. And Jesus said, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And then the devil left him and the angels came and they attended him. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he withdrew to Galilee Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Nephalti, to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah. There's another another fulfilled prophecy. The land of Zebulun and the land of Nephalti, the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, and the people living in the darkness have seen a great light. And on living in the light of the shadows of death, a light has dawned. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said. I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and they followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, son of uh, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were preparing uh, their boats uh, with their father Zebedee and preparing the nets. And Jesus called them and immediately left their boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went through Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness all among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and the people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pains, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, 
the Decapolis of Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. Well, where I camped this time and really loved was the questions and the answers. You know, Satan's, Satan's is, well, more, maybe more than a question, it was a challenge. Satan, um, back in verse three at the bottom, it says, and the tempter came with his challenge, basically. And he said, if you're the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. And I love, love, love that when Jesus answers them, he doesn't give them, well, you know, I wish I could. Um, this is what my father says. He doesn't do any of that. He immediately answers him with scripture and he, it's an immediate obedience to what he already knows that is that God almighty is expecting out of him. He says, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. He knew God was going to sustain him. He knew it even then. And then Satan, the tempter, the challenger, he comes again. And he says, Th um, throw yourself down. Well, after he took him to that high point in the city, he said, throw yourself down for it is written. And so he's taunting him and he says, he, uh, you have angels uh, con uh, concerning you or angels taking care of you and they will lift you up. You will never even fall. You won't even strike your foot against a rock. And Jesus answers him. This is the second challenge. It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. And that's a good one for each one of us. Do not test God in those ways or make challenges to him. Again, um, then the third challenge or the test is going to be the devil took him to a very high mountain and, sh and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Now, can you imagine wherever they were, probably like outer space or something? And, um, and they look down at the world because that's what they're looking at as a world. Because we know that Satan is the ruler of this world until Jesus comes back again. And so he's showing him this kingdom. That's Satan's kingdom. That's our world. And he said, um, if you bow down to me and worship me, I will give you everything. And Jesus said to him immediately, he says, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. That's what I loved about it. Because he was so familiar with what God's wishes were, he could answer him immediately. He didn't have to hesitate. He didn't have to mull it over. Let me get back to you tomorrow. Um, what He just immediately answered. And he spoke it um, right, right out of the scriptures. He spoke it out of the things that God's already taught us. So there's nothing that, that Satan can come at us or challenge us with that God hasn't already prepared for us an answer. And that should just leave you really freed up for whatever happens in this day. I'm so proud of you. We'll see you for day five tomorrow.